All right, everybody, the madman is here once again, and we have a package from a company called Lizzie Line. Now, Lizzie Line makes motorcycle accessories, uh, not just excluded to uh, Royal Enfield, but kind of like universal stuff, uh, stuff you can use across the board, really. Let's go ahead and open this package up and take a look. Let's see what we have here. Now this should be interesting. We have some handlebar risers. Now this could be very interesting. Hmm. Well, I tell you what. Let's go outside, throw them on Fieldy, and we'll get her opinion. All right, be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys. I did try to install these risers on Fieldy. Unfortunately, I was not able to do so. Let me explain. If you look at them, they appear to be straight. But if you push them together, you can see they are not so, when I tried to put them on the bike, these side, these in, this end here, inside the clamps to hold down the handlebar, remove that little bracket, remove the handlebars, put these in the place, and then the theory is put the handlebars here. That would allow you to maneuver the handlebars uh, whichever way you want, rise them a little bit, uh, roughly an inch. Okay, uh, they are so far off, they're exacerbated here so that whenever you install them, they are almost there like that. And when you try to put the handlebars through, there's about a, a centimeter of space on the outside. So if you were to try to tighten that down, you would surely break something. Besides, these are cast aluminum and probably sand cast. Uh, so that, coupled with the fitment issue, I would not suggest these to be used on any bike from this company. Uh, the company's name, again, was Lizaline. I would not suggest buying from them. Their quality control should have caught the issue of being off canter like that that poses a risk to personal safety uh, it could break as I mean these are very light very light thin metal either cast aluminum or cast pot metal I would actually probably say pot metal um, very dangerous they could break while you're riding. You could hit the brakes uh, kind of firmly, put pressure on those handlebars, and these could snap right off. So these are not approved at all. I would not suggest buying these. So unfortunately, I cannot give these guys a good review. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative for you. And if you are planning on using this style, there are a, a few reputable companies in the U.S. that make these. They are a little more expensive, but well worth the money. And I would suggest going through those. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And since you're here, you might as well subscribe. All right, see you next time, guys.